from Fox 2 News. Let's give him a warm Lutheran North welcome, Rob Wilson. I've been returning once a year to speak to business students at Lutheran North High School since 2006. It's kind of a tradition that started simply by teacher Steve Slagle using my Hall of Shame stories to teach kids about fraud, how not to be a victim, and what to watch out for as they enter the business world. For me, it's always been a pleasure because these kids know my stories, learn from my stories, and retain the lessons as well. If you had to choose between listening to Mr. Slagle or watching a Hall of Shame story, what would you choose? I love Mr. Slagle, but we love your Hall of Shame. That's senior Sophia. Here's Mr. Slagle himself. When they actually see, you know, the story unfold and all the research that you do, you know, they did this, this, and this, and they stole this, this, and this money, they can actually see it, how it affects human lives on a screen. And then when you bust them with, with, um, with the evidence and they run to their car and squeal the tires away, that's more powerful than me just talking about. It. There's a lot of teaching and book work involved as well, but during the fraud unit of his business class, the kids start their day by watching a Hall of Shame story, then discussing it. Freshman Brian says he's learned a lot and understands now how his grandmother got tricked into a scam a while back. She lost like $5,000. So, so you, your poor grandma, th doesn't your grandma watch the Hall of Shame? No. Oh, it's sad. I think, she, I think she will now, which I tell her about it. Nicholas says seeing real-life scam artists put on the spot is eye-opening. Sometimes I think they're kind of foolish. Um, sometimes I think they're just cold-hearted. But every time I think, like, you deserve to be in the Hall of Shame. My talk to the students isn't scripted. I take a lot of questions, and I'm always surprised by what the young people take away from my TV stories. And I got to admit, it's kind of fun for me to be a newsman rock star for a day. You like watching my videos? We love your videos. Love them. We're the biggest fans. <laughs> <laughs> and at the end of every class, I give my catchphrase to a round of applause. You're in the Hall of Shame. In Macomb Township, rock star Rob Walchak, Fox 2 News.